Well, hello. This might be a little German language lesson for you. Gemeinsam stark. This is actually hi again. My name is Christoph Mücher. I'm director of the Goethe Institute Boston, which you can see here. And uh, yeah, wouldn't it be great to be all together here today to celebrate the latest work by Boston Dance Theater? Well, Corona is still striking and we are very much apart from each other. And this is actually the subject of Jesse in Boston Dance Theater's new work. Last year, as a German culture institute, we've been reflecting on 30 years of German reunification, how happy Germans are to be together again, and yet how sad it is, even 30 years afterwards, to be somewhat apart from each other. And then we had a look around society in Germany, in the US, all over the world, and we had a certain feeling that this notion of being apart, while we still wish to be together, is something very universal. And Corona, obviously, is adding to that. So we took up discussions with Jessie and her team and said, listen, how about doing a tailor-made work on reflecting on these divisions, loneliness, desires of being together again? And yeah, when you know Jesse, she immediately took up. And the wonderful dance people have been working here in our beautifully restored, renovated Goethe Institute in Back Bay, 170 Beacon Street here in Boston. And they managed to do a wonderful piece, Corona restrictions, no dangers involved. And we are so happy to celebrate the premiere of this piece tonight with you guys. Thank you. Hi, my name is Jessie Jean Stinnett. I'm the founder and co-artistic director of Boston Dance Theater. I'm here today with Gabby and Hannah. Do you want to introduce yourselves? Hi, um, my name is Gabriela Maria Mi Moreno. I'm a performer in the work and also Jessie's administrative assistant. And I will be asking Jessie and Hannah some questions today. Hi, I'm Hannah Spinola. I'm also a performer with Boston Dance Theater. How did you choose to work with this prompt from the Goethe Institute? Yeah. So I initially started um, just by researching Germany in 1989 and 1990, sort of uh, trying to wrap my mind around the historical events that led up to uh, the fall of the Berlin Wall. And, you know, at first I was sort of really overwhelmed. I became, as I was researching more, and, uh, watching interviews and documentaries and reading, I, I just sort of felt overwhelmed by the weight um, of that that moment in history. Um, and so I found myself sort of shifting away from more sort of broad um, informational sorts of resources. And I really sought out um, more sort of like DIY archival media that has been sort of um, saved and in various different crevices of the internet, searching on YouTube and things like that, because I was interested in connecting with personal stories of people who were alive during that time um, and who had experienced life on either the east or the west side of the wall. We started by looking at separation and things we've we've lost or we have been separated from during this time and we also we sort of tried to imagine what coming together again might look like after um, you know a change in government that was that was back last year in 2020 so we were anticipating a shift in government at that time and also um, thinking about what the world might look like after the distribution of a COVID vaccine. This 
period of research through writing and, and sort of collective sharing of experience through talking was really the springboard for movement exploration, um, setting up of different scenarios in the studio, all sort of with the intention of harvesting material, ideas, images, um, inspiration from those sort of initial writing prompts. We're still sort of in the thick of this global pandemic and our world is full of violence and racial injustice. We're in the middle of a climate crisis. You know, our country is more polarized politically now than ever. So I was really just sort of like banging up against this concept for, for a long time. It felt like I couldn't find a way into it. Um, and then about a month ago, everything completely changed for me. Um, the, my father unexpectedly passed away and it was like a, a paradigm shift for me. Coming back together again needs to happen after healing on an individual level. Also on a collective level, we need people to witness our grief, um, acknowledging the pain of that. And, um, you know, and that emotions need to move. And so uh, I think it's, for me, it, the meaning is not in, you know, what the work is about. It's, I'm still discovering the meaning in the same way that I'm making and creating meaning following the loss of my father. You know, his life had a meaning. This work has a meaning. And um, I think that what's really important to me about it is the meaning that we find in making it and the meaning that that you can find in witnessing it.